All right, time for your lunch break. Produce man Michael Marks is here with some of the best summer produce items, including corn and honeydew melon. Yeah, getting you ready for uh, Father's Day uh, this coming weekend. Uh, maybe you're going to be out at the grill. Let's see, what should we put on the grill? Maybe some corn. I would. Check this out. Six for a dollar. Not one, not two, not three, not four, not five, but six ears of corn for a buck. That is, let me get my math hat on. That is 17 cents each. Take a look at that. This happens to be bicolor corn. I call it peaches and cream. Little white and yellow. I love this because the white has so much sugar and the yellow has so much corn flavor. So this bicolor corn, oh man, I absolutely love it. And this is a perfectly formed ear of corn. One of the things I want you to look for is look between the kernels. There should be no space between those kernels. That means these kernels are fully plump, full of sugar, absolutely perfect. Uh, by the way, you don't need to really cook that corn a lot. You just need to warm it up a little, right? Uh, put the butter in the microwave. Melt the butter in the microwave. That's the best thing to do. Anyway, six for a buck. That's a really good deal. I, I saw this honeydew melon. Oh, my goodness. Two for six dollars. That's an awesome price. Now, I know a lot of people, they'll go to the blossom end. This is the blossom end. That's the stem end. The blossom end. I know a lot of people will say, just take your thumb and push in on the blossom end. If it gives, that's a ripe honeydew. Well, let me ask you a quick question. What if you're the 50th person pushing in on, on, on that blossom end? Yeah, it would be soft. So a uh, honeydew melon, probably one of the most difficult melons to pick out. Uh, one, one of the things I want you to do, if you see these little marks on them, see those? Those are called sugar marks. That's my cousin from, uh, from Alabama. Uh, those are sugar marks. I look for those. Also, put this out on your countertop for 48 hours. Cover it with a nice, clean uh, a kitchen towel, and it'll ripen up perfectly. It, and the acid content, here's what happens when you put it out on, on the countertop. Acid content goes down. Sugar content doesn't change at all. When the acid goes down, guess what happens? It tastes sweeter because the sugar's still higher. Anyway, two for $6. And check this out, iceberg lettuce, Two for five dollars. You can make a lot of uh, a lot of salad with iceberg lettuce. When you turn it over, this cut in should be right in the very center of that iceberg lettuce. If it is, that's going to be some super sweet iceberg lettuce. Two for five bucks. Hey, back to you guys.